Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to be adding and subtracting decimals. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started. So example one, 8.13 plus 2.97. Uh, the trick with adding or subtracting decimals is that you always, 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 always line up the decimal point. And the reason for that is that that makes sure that you're adding the right place values. This is two ones. I want to make sure I add that with the eight ones here. This is seven tenths. I want to add that with the one tenths there. If I don't, if I don't have these decimal points lined up, I might be adding a 7 tenths with an 8, and then that would give me 15, but that's not right. This is only 7 tenths. That's 8 holes, right? So that's why you want to make sure you line it up. If you have great handwriting, this should be no problem. If you're a little bit messy, uh, maybe you can kind of do some little tricks to help you make sure that they're lined up. So, uh, for example, I will do... 8.13 plus decimal points here, so 2.76. Okay, this is really nice. They both have three digits, so that makes it really easy. But notice my decimal points are lined up. Okay, in your answer, your decimal point will be directly below the other ones. So I know that my decimal point is going to be there. Okay, it's got to stay in line. So now it's simple. I just add like normal. Uh, 3 plus 6 is 9. 1 plus 7 is 8. There's my decimal point. Uh, 8 and 2 is 10. So my final answer is 10.9. Sorry, 10.89. One thing to do when you're dealing with decimals, when you get your answer, check to see if it makes sense. Right? If you were going to... Um, round these and add them, you would say, okay, that's about eight. That's about three. If I round up, that would be three. So eight plus three is 11. My answer should be somewhere around 11. And it is, that's very close to 11. If I had the decimal point in the wrong spot, maybe I had my decimal point here and I would get 108.9. If I check to see if it made sense with some rounding and estimation, I would realize like, wow, 11 Right? I said it should be close to 11, and I got 108.9. That's not very close. So then hopefully you can go back and see, oh, yeah, I made a mistake with my decimal point. Uh, so that's example one. Let's try another example. Okay, example number two, 1.459 plus 23.7. Uh, so same thing. I got to make sure I line up my decimals when I'm doing this addition. And notice here, we've got four digits here and three here, so it's even even more important uh, than the last one that I line them up correctly. Uh, so 1.459 plus 23, 23, then my decimal point, 7. Okay. Notice again, my decimal points are lined up like they should be. So I'm adding my 7 tenths gets added with the 4 tenths here. And this 1 gets added with the 3 that's in the 1's place as well. So that's good. That's what we want. Uh, now, you notice there's nothing here. How can I add this with nothing? Well, with decimals, I can, as long as I'm to the right of the decimal point, I can add as many zeros at the end of that as I want, and it's not going to change the value. So what we do is we just put a couple zeros in there as kind of placeholders, just so it, everything lines up okay. And that's going to help us. Uh, so we won't make silly mistakes. So 9 plus 0 is still 9. That's going to be 5. 4 plus 7 is 11. My decimal point goes there. I'm carrying the 1. Uh, there's 5 and 2. So I got 25.159. And again, let's just double check to see if that makes sense. That rounds to about 1. That would round to 24. 1 plus 24 is 25. My answer should be around 25, which it is. So I am happy with that. 
Okay, let's try another example. All right, example number three. Now we're subtracting 21.9 minus 1.605. Same process. Line up the decimal points first, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and do the subtraction. Uh, so 21.9, that has to be first because the order matters for subtraction. So 21.9 minus 1 point, so the one's going here, point, my decimals are lined up, 605. Make sure everything looks nice and organized. My decimal points are lined up, so that's good. Uh, and now I'm going to subtract. Just like in the last example, you can see, well, there's nothing here. How can I subtract five from nothing? Well, like we said earlier, we can put zeros as placeholders uh, to help us with our subtraction. So I'm gonna put two there. So now we have uh, the same amount of digits on the, on the right of uh, the decimal point. So now, here we go. Uh, zero minus five, I can't do, so I gotta borrow, I can't borrow there. So that becomes eight, that becomes 10. Borrow again, that becomes 9, that becomes 10. So now I'm good. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 6 is 2. Decimal point stays in line with the others. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 2 minus, I could put a 0 here if I wanted, but 2 minus nothing is 2. Okay? Last, let's check to see if it makes sense uh, with our estimations. This would round to 22. Uh, 1.605 would round to 2, so 22 minus 2 is 20. Our answer should be around 20, and it is, so we are happy with that. Here's some to try on your own. All right, here's the last example. Uh, we got a word problem. Your meal at McDonald's costs $3.45. Your friend's meal is $3.90. If you pay for both uh, with a $10 bill, how much change should you get back? So uh, if you think about it, you're going to have to take, well, whatever the cost of both meals together is and subtract that from 10. So if we write an expression, it's going to be $10 minus the sum of your two meals. So $3.45 plus $3.90, right? You would add both your meals up, subtract that from 10, and that's gonna give uh, us our change. So let's see, um, 3.45 plus 3.90, let's do that over here to the side. 3.45 plus 3 dollars 90 cents, that gives me 513 decimal points are in line. There's six, seven. So I got $7.35 total. Uh, and that seems about right. So now I'm going to do 10 minus that total, which was $7.35. Okay. Now I can do that subtraction. I'm going to do it over, well, let's see, I'll do it right here. Uh, so I have 10 minus 7.35. Now I'm going to subtract the whole number with a decimal, but if you look, there is no decimal point there, right? How can I do that? How can I line up the decimals if there isn't one? Well, with any whole number, uh, I can add a decimal to the right of it, and then I can put as many zeros as I want at the, uh, to the right. So I'm going to do that, 10. That doesn't change the value. It's still 10. Um, minus 7.35. Then, like I said, like we did before, I'm going to add my zeros as placeholders and then just do the subtraction. Right? My decimal points are lined up. Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. I got to borrow from here. So that becomes zero. That becomes 10. Borrow again. That becomes nine. That becomes 10. Borrow again, 9 and 10. So now 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. Decimal point. And 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay. So finally, I got $2.65 total.
change if I paid for both with a $10 bill? And let's see, does that make sense logically? Well, yeah, both were about $7. 10 minus about $7 should give me about $3 change, and that's pretty close to $3. Uh, here's one more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.